I'm Hector Spinal, global makeup artist for Fenty Beauty, and today I'm with my model Nicholas, and I'm gonna be showing you how to get this caramel cutie or nice and groomed. When it comes to male grooming, less is always more. So I decided to go with concealer as opposed to foundation. And the reason why is because I feel like I can just spot correct where I need it, and then I can just do a little bronzer, a little powder, just make the best version of you. What do you think about that? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. So I decided to go with concealer in the shade 360. It's more of a neutral shade. I just really want to match your skin the best that I can. So I'm going to apply this directly with my finger on one side and then with the sponge on the other side, just to show the flexibility of what you can do. In case you're on the run or you don't have access to a wet sponge, at least you have the flexibility to do both. What I love about this applicator is the tip. So it gives me the flexibility to really just target where I want to apply. So right here, slightly dab around the nose area. I'm just applying a little bit right right here at the beginning of the eye socket. And you can go from like small little dabs to more of a coverage stripe. So Nicholas, like what are some things you like to cover or you feel like is a heavier where you want to correct oftentimes? I have deep dark circles, so mm -hmm. I try to get rid of those. And also my razor bumps. So what I like to do is just really target this area right here. So go one, two, three, and then right in this outer corner. These are the two areas where you can automatically just cover the dark circles. Then you take your sponge and you want to put pressure just because you want the product to really penetrate into the skin. If you don't want to use your sponge, literally just take your finger and just dab it in there. How, which side feels better? The sponge or the, without the sponge? I feel like the sponge feels a lot better. It's like kind of softer. The thing about the sponge is that when it's damped, it mimics your skin's texture. So automatically it should feel and look lighter. The fingers is okay, but a sponge is always the best way. Yeah, definitely. You were mentioning that you was concerning with the uh, razor bumps. Yeah, yeah. So what I like to do is then go back of my hand, take a little bit of product, get it with my sponge, pick it up from here, and then just taking those razor bumps and really just pressing into the skin. Because we have texture already, you really just want to like mimic that texture as best of your abilities. Even on my beard too? On the beard, you never want to do product because okay. then it just lays on the hair instead of the skin. Gotcha. Even with sponge when I tap yeah. it? Gotcha. Even with the sponge, it's just gonna lay right on the hair instead of doing it on the skin. Gotcha. Invisima is actually one of my personal favorite because it's like super light. It's just really just blotting away any extra shine. Like I don't want to create more coverage like I mentioned before. I'm using my Powder Puff setting brush into my Invisima and I'm just gonna dust that only in the T-zone. So then remember how we put a lot of product here? Yeah. So here what you want to do is press. Oh, press it just like that sponge? Yeah. How does it feel so far? Feels soft. Feels nice. Tell me what you think about that. You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Feels like nothing's there pretty much. How do you like the coverage? I mean, it's good. I feel like it's just look like a different person, you know? <laughs> okay, you're feeling yourself a little too much. <laughs> Sorry about that. Moving on. <laughs> so I decided to go with my bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. So I'm using the same brush that I use for your Invisimat. So what I like to do is just cover only the perimeter, you know, to make it look more natural, really blend into the outer parts of the body, like the arms, the neck. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's no right or wrong when it comes to this brush. Like you really just want to go and do like circular motions or swifting. Let me not mess up your hair again. <laughs> Let's go a little bit on the nose. So I know oftentimes, you know, when guys wear makeup, the biggest fear is, oh my God, it's gonna transfer or I'm gonna sweat it off. So remember the concealer is long lasting. The bronzer yeah. is actually transfer resistant, buildable, blendable. So you're not gonna feel like you have so much going on. It's all gonna marry together, which makes the application and everything look and feel super natural. All right, so tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm looking good. You look like a snack. Look like a full course meal, what are you talking about? <laughs> If you guys want to learn more about this male grooming situation that we have going on here, don't forget to follow us on Fancy Beauty and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like, leave some comments. Till next time.